You ask, I answer. Welcome to the monthly frequently asked questions video right here on our YouTube channel. I'm going to be answering some really important questions such as how to find a profitable product to sell on Amazon. Is there a limit to the amount of products that you can sell on Amazon and so much more? Let's get started. So I asked you on Instagram to give me your questions and you gave me a lot of questions. I selected some of them. Let's get through most of them. Question number one, what do I need to register my seller account in the Middle East? Well, the good news is that registering your account on Amazon in the Middle East, UAE, KSA, and even in Egypt is probably the easiest uh, out of all Amazon marketplaces. So rest assured, it's not going to be tough, but you also need to identify whether the country where you are from or where you currently reside is a country that is approved by Amazon. That's basically how it gets started. So if you currently live in a country or you are from a country that is on the approved list, then it's very, very easy. You can just immediately get started. You just need a few documents and you can open your Amazon seller account within three to five business days. As simple as that. However, if you are not from a country that is on an approved list, then it's going to be a little bit difficult because you're going to probably have to register a business and do a few more things. Now, this is a very short answer because this question has a very long answer, but I've already answered it. That's the good news. And we have a full length video about the step-by-step -step process of how you can register your seller account on Amazon. I will leave that video linked in the description box of this video. Go ahead and check it out. Hold on. Before I continue to question number two, if this is your first time watching a video on this channel, Hi, my name is Crystal and I'm the founder of Amazon Sellers Society and Sellers Society. We are an Amazon service provider based right here in the UAE and focused on the Middle East market. Now, there are three ways that you can work with us. Number one, you can go through our free training. Number two, you can enroll in the Amazon Sellers Society Academy if you want to learn how to do this business all on your own. Or number three, you can reach out to our team and we'll help you A to Z do the full Amazon business for you or support you if you currently have an Amazon business, primarily in the Middle East. You can find all of this information linked in the description box of this video or simply go to our website, www.assmiddleeast.org. I'll see you there. Question number two, is there a limit to the products that I can sell on Amazon? Absolutely no limit. Really good news. There are no limits to the amount of units that you, you can sell and how many products rather that you can have in your store. But the limit is you can have only one seller account on each market. So if you sell in the UAE, you should only have one Amazon seller account, but you can have countless as much as you want products that you can sell in this account or in this store. Now, if you're thinking, but there is a limit of the amount of inventory that I can store inside of the Amazon warehouse. Yes, yes watch the video till the end because I'm going to answer that question after a couple more questions. Now, question number three is obviously a question that I've seen a lot and it is an important question. How do I find profitable products to sell on Amazon? That's really, really, really important because at the end of the day, you need to ensure that the products that you select to sell are going to be profitable on Amazon or else it's not going to be a cool business for you to have. Now, there are two ways of doing product research. First of all, you can do the manual product research or you can do the automated uh, product research with the support of tools. For the manual product research, you can simply log into Amazon and follow up with what's happening on the website, check out the best sellers products and follow up with their BSR, best seller rank, to try to identify the amount of sales that are, they are getting on Amazon. It's quite um, a feat to do it manually, but of course you can do it. You just need to give yourself time to keep following up with these products to ensure that they are selling well. Number two, the automatic using tools. And in this case, we're going to be using Helium 10. Helium 10 is a suite of tools for sellers to use to try to identify what's happening on the marketplace in a very easy, to, easy way and, um, you know, a smarter way, let's say, 
If you still don't use Helium 10, I've got a special discount code. I'll leave it on the screen right here, but you'll also find it linked in the description box of this video. The discount code will provide you a 20% discount for the first six months of your subscription. So basically it's a really, really good discount. Now the feature that you're gonna wanna use for Helium 10 or inside of Helium 10 defined products is called actually black box. So right here, as you can see, you can search for products, you can search for keywords, competitors, niche product targeting, and there's some elite analytics. I would, I would choose either products or keywords, depending on the style that you would like to find products, uh, select the right marketplace. In this case, I've selected Amazon UAE, and then you've got a bunch of filters to choose from. They also have a pre-selected filters such as a small and light, low image count, low rating, high growth, up to you. But I would definitely select the category as one of the filters that is very important. So in this case, let's just select home. And then you can select if you want a, a one Helium 10 to find the product for you for a, that's selling at a particular price, that's making a certain amount of revenue, that has a certain uh, best sales month, for example, December, January, uh, if it is a certain type of fulfillment, what shipping size is, what BSR it is. So there's a lot of filters so that you can narrow down exactly what you are looking for. I would suggest that you don't really use a lot of those filters because in the beginning, you want to try to cast the net as wide as possible so you can find as many products, potential products as possible. And then you click search. Since we're searching for products, products is what we're going to get. So as you can see here, I've been given 200 different products. I haven't really given any filters other than home. And you'll see uh, Helium 10 is just giving you the data that's right there on Amazon, but also giving you some analytical data that has been estimated from Helium 10. So if I click right here, I can go ahead and see the actual listing of this product on Amazon, but I can immediately see the BSR, BSR, best seller rank for the main category, as well as the subcategory. I can see the selling price, monthly units, how many units are being sold. And if there's a 90 day sales trend up and down, monthly revenue, what are the current reviews and so much more information if you keep scrolling. Lots of different products. Some of them might be interesting. Some of them might not be interesting, but the products that are interesting, you should sideline them and dig a little bit deeper to understand whether this would be a potential product for you to sell, yes or no. I would say this would be the same exact system that you should follow whether you are doing private label products or wholesaling products. I think we're on question number four and it's how do I know how much money I am making? This is a very important question because most of the time when you get started on Amazon, you discover that the Amazon backend or what is known as Amazon Seller Central doesn't give you all of your expenses and your costs in one format. See, first of all, Amazon is never going to ask you about your cost, what you purchased the product for. So that is one thing to think about. And then there are the Amazon seller fees, and then there are the Amazon ads. So all of those are separated in your business, but they're also separated on Amazon. So it is quite tough to try to understand how much money you're making per product based on how much you're spending, not only on fees, but also on ads and also the cost of the product per product. That's why we've created our own tool called Sellers Society as well where you can log in, uh, add this tool into your Amazon account, and, and the tool will let you know exactly how much money you're spending or making per product so that you can make adjustments. The tool is open for you to use. You just need to apply because it's um, somewhat of a limited amount of people that can use the tool on a monthly basis. That's the way that we like to keep it. Let me show you how to use it and where to apply to become a user. So I'm on the Sellers Society dashboard and in seller society we've developed this tool to help you identify exactly what is happening inside of your amazon account as you can see here i can immediately identify that i have one product that's break even 
and three products that are unprofitable. Now, let me click on the PNL for one of the products and let's check it out. PNL essentially means profit and loss statement. And that's exactly what the software is doing. It's taking into consideration all of the fees that you are paying Amazon, including the advertising fees per product, which is something that you don't really find on Amazon easily. With the selling fees, fulfillment fees, refund, and we've also added our cost. What did it cost? What did it cost us to actually purchase this product? And as you can see, we have identified that our profit is only 4.6%. That's why it's highlighted in yellow, which is a very low profit. So there are a lot of things that you can do once you have identified this information. Right here, you can decide to lower the amount of ads that you are spending as an example, maybe even increase the selling price in order to improve the profitability here. Maybe you weren't aware of this information until Amazon sends you your money, but with Sellers Society, now you can know even from the very first sale that you make on Amazon. And final question, how to manage my inventory in Amazon and request increase? So this is an issue that most new sellers find out once they start um, thinking of setting products over to Amazon. So when you get started on any Amazon marketplace in the Middle East or anywhere else, there is a limitation to the amount of inventory that you can have uh, warehoused in the Amazon fulfillment centers or the Amazon warehouses. That's because you have a new account and Amazon basically wants to be able to provide inventory to all levels of sellers. But at the end of the day, it's only fair that you show Amazon how good of a seller you are so that they can give you more inventory. The reason for this is because, you know, inventory at Amazon is quite cheap, meaning it's very, very low cost to have your products warehoused at Amazon. So you don't want sellers to be taking advantage of that. That's why they've created this limitation. But it's very easy to bypass this limitation. All you need to do is to focus on one main thing, and that's your sell-through rate, or what I call a sales velocity. The faster your products sell, the faster uh, Amazon is going to give you more inventory because they're going to realize you are an awesome seller and you deserve to have more inventory in the Amazon warehouse. Because if you have more inventory in the Amazon warehouse, then you will have more products and then you'll be able to sell more and everybody's going to be happy. It's a win-win situation. So everything you need to be focused on is just showing Amazon how good of a seller you are. Obviously you are because you're watching this video and how good your sales are on a daily basis. Focus on your sell through rate and everything should be fine. And that's it for this month's frequently asked questions, most commonly asked questions, questions where you ask me and I answer for this month. Make sure that you leave me any additional questions that you have as a comment under this video so I can make sure to answer them in next month's video. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.